Alright folks, here it is, the highly anticipated How It's Made JBL speaker. Portable speaker. This is the Flip 1. I believe this is the Flip 1. And today we're going to take this apart. So, we'll get my tools of the trade. Simple couple of Phillips. I have a feeling they use Phillips at the factory and we'll find out. Might be all glue. In which case we would have done well with some solvent. We've got bench vise. And a selection of fine butter knives. By the way, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of adventure of dimension on this dimensions of earth channel on Angus Cthulhu and thanks for tuning in how I could just crank on this and I'm sure we'd get it apart But let's see if we can recover what's in here. This speaker could be born again, maybe as something classy like a wooden micro speaker. If we could just get into it. Oh yeah. Giving it a little squeeze. heat the screw itself when all fails blame is your friend really when all fails though stinks Oh, it worked. It worked. Let's see if we can actually get this thing on the roll. If I can get this done in the next five minutes. Not restart the video. Oh. Not too hot. You. You never know what idea comes your way when you're in the workshop. I don't want to screw up that seal if I can help it. Oh. Oh, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Ooh, look at that. Super thin. I got worried for a second there. I thought, oh no, they charged it through that tiny ribbon. But no, there are the wires responsible for charging it. I'm not sure which one's which, but I will figure that out and see what I can do. There's the battery, not a bad little sized battery. Lithium ion, so. I'll treat it with respect. Nope. Well, that's basically that. Obviously some wires go through where these chips are. A lot less. Uh, it's even less serviceable than I had pictured it being. So we'll pull this passive radiator off to see what's going on inside. And then I'll make up my mind how to go about the repair. And I'll get it sorted and see if 
life can be brought back. Otherwise, I'll come up with another plan. It looks difficult to utilize these parts in custom build of my own because everything's kind of separated by chambers and there's wires going through here and there. It's not like two wires you can, or even a few solid wires you can cut and re-solder. It's ribbon, which is never great to work with. really impressed by the sound these things give off though. I'm a big speakers guy. I got a set of 15s down below here. And they're just my shop speakers. I got a 21 in my truck. And I love bass. I've never imagined being able to survive without a big system, but these Compared to the computer speakers that they had going when I was a kid, which is not that long ago, these things are really impressive. There's your radiator, it's got a weight, which tunes the box, the speaker cabinet, and there, it's just chipboard from one end to the other. Not your MDF type chipboard, but circuitry. So hopefully you guys are getting a good look at that. Bottom of each driver, foam at the base where the magnet is to keep it together. That's your basic JBL flip three. This is dangling, but it'll be okay. The basics here are, will I be able to adapt something and get a charge on this puppy? Hopefully the black and the red are the cables I'm going for, otherwise you could only guess. Bit of a gamble there, but there you have it. Thanks for sticking all the way to the end, if indeed you did. And hopefully you enjoyed it. It would be awesome if you head down in the comment section and give me a little feedback, good or bad. And check out my channel, subscribe, all that lot. Till next time. Later.